Um, if you're new, welcome. And my name is Christine. I am the founder of Tamar's Hope. And Tamar's Hope is a Christian ministry that seeks to restore the lives of women caught in bondage to human trafficking in the New York, New Jersey metro region. The vision that I saw today was, um, as you can see, um, I entitled the video, God is pulling back the curtain. God is pulling back the curtain. So the vision that I, I had today was God was speaking to me about what I have been going through over the past four years. So this was a personal vision of what God was showing me um, today. And as God was showing me this vision and walking me through what it was he wanted to show me and what I had experienced, it was like he was slowly moving back the curtain for me to see what was behind the curtain so that I wouldn't be overwhelmed. And even still, I was. And um, in this vision, it reminded me of the movie, The Wizard of Oz. And, at the, and as he was showing this to me, I said, Lord, how did I make it through that time? And I felt in my spirit um, I felt God say, you may have been overwhelmed by the situation, but it was, to me, it was just a little man behind the curtain. So, um, I also felt that he was saying, pay attention to what you saw in this vision and in these situations. You are going to need the lessons you learned from them in the future. So that was the vision. And... I just wanted to come on here and share that because I feel like a lot of times um, when God releases me to give a word or um, a, release a prophetic dream or a vision that he's given to me, I know that sometimes it's not just for me. I know that he gives me the visions and the words to share and the dreams um, to anyone who might be experiencing the same thing. And so, as I always say, make sure that you uh, pray about it. And you take it before the Lord in prayer and make sure that you test the spirits and you ask him if this applies to you and if this is something that applies to you on what to do about it. And so that was the vision. Guys, I wanted to just come on and share that and say that, you know, um, as God was downloading that information to me today through that vision that I saw, he was just slowly pulling back the curtain little by little for me to see really what was happen, what was happening. Um, and during the time that I was going through it, because there was so, um, there was so much stuff going on at that time that it was like, he was saying to me that if I pulled back the curtain all at once, you would have been overwhelmed by what was happening. So God was protecting me and he wasn't allowing me to see everything that I was going through even at the time that I was going through it because I I was just overwhelmed just today by that vision so I can't even imagine during the time and I'm not even in those situations anymore that if God would have really pushed back the curtain for me to see everything that was going on and to the extent that it was going on in and even at that time, I was feeling overwhelmed in it. I, I can't even imagine like what, what it would have done to me at the time to see the whole thing for what it was that what I was really going through. So it was like, God was really saying to me, like he was protecting me from the full impact and the full, um, just the full experience of what was happening at the time in order to um, protect me and, <clears throat> and to not allow it to like, you know, get me into, just take me out, you know, get me into a depression or get me into like feelings of like wanting to give up or hopelessness or despair, or discouragement. And, 
So a lot of the times I know in my own personal life, when I look back on the things that God has brought me from, it's really a miracle when I think back of everything that I've gone through on how I've made it through those situations. And I know that it's only because of his grace and because he's protected me in those situations. And I feel the same thing with a lot of us, right? We'll go through these situations and they can be so overwhelming and life can just has a way sometimes of just like, you know, taking the wind out of our sails and, you know, and, and God was just saying to me that he was protecting me in such a way that even when I was going through it, that I wasn't really even allowed at the time to feel the full impact of really what was going, what was going on and what was happening. And I was going through it <laughs> at the time. I remember it. I went through it. And so as God was showing me that in the vision today, that he was pulling back the curtain little by little so that I could see what was happening, even being this far removed, I was still overwhelmed. And like I said, I, I just got that vision in in my mind of that movie with the Wizard of Oz of, of, you know, when the guy's behind the curtain and, and, you know, there's all this booming sound and noises and everybody's afraid and scared. But it was like God was say, saying to me, like, I will do everything. I will go out of my way to protect you and to reveal these things to you and to protect you from what it is that, um, these situations or these people or these relationships are really trying to do to you to take you out of the game and even, you know, even kill you like, you know, um, cause stress kills, right? So there's a lot of times that we're going through these things and, you know, we don't even know what, what it is that we're going through and the full implications of what it is that we're going through. And even though at the time we might feel impacted by it in certain ways and, certain areas through discouragement or depression or despair or anger or whatever it is however we process these things like God was saying that you know he loves us so much that he's not gonna allow anything like he will go out of his way to protect us from the full implications of these things that happen to us when we're going through them because you know he is just so um you know, he's just so committed to us and in our walk with him. And he knows that sometimes, you know, we're just human and we go through these life situations where, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we don't know what could happen and how much we can handle and going through them. And, um, but he's actually protecting us from that, um, <clears throat> from the full implications of that. And he was saying to me too, the other thing he was saying to me was, um, be careful that, you know, you pay attention to what it is that you've learned in those situations and the lessons that you learn from them because you're going to need them going into the future situations that you're going to face. So that was the vision that I got. And, um, you know, it was just him pulling back the curtain and the way that he was doing it and revealing it to me and the, the full um, capacity of what it was meant to do to me, but that he, you know, even though I was overwhelmed by it, he wasn't overwhelmed by it. And it, to him, it was just the little, you know, the little wizard, wizard of Oz behind the curtain that, um, was really powerless and, but, um, that it really could have had, had, um, if it really had its way, it would have had its, um, way with us that we would have been impacted in such a way that it could have possibly had even taken us out spiritually or, emotionally, mentally, even physically. So, all right, guys, I wanted to come on once again, like I said, make sure that you test the spirits, bring it to before the Lord in prayer, make sure that, um, this word applies to you. And if it does what he would have you to do with it. And once again, I will see you in the next video and take care. God bless. Bye-bye.